Dawn's wound leaks blood. Day's scalpel slices to widen the gap for hysterectomy, to remove all hysterical desire. Flesh and mind anesthetized, numb as a tomb. Vacuum tumors, uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, umentum's entire gelatinous shield. Suck out cervix is small knot of disease. Four suspicious signal lymph glands gallant in their defense. Organs of making drawn quick through the slick vaginal mouth, between legs splayed, restrained, tied to the operating table, soaked with blood. What comes last? The useless appendix, faithful observer of two miscarriages, collector of bits of skin, hangnails chewed to the quick, indigestible seed husks gnawed after unspeakable loss. Gone now, lying in surgical stainless steel pans. Gone her mind, a nova blown open to particulate matter, piercing sexless dimensions of darkness. As comforting and safe as stars she glides between. She has left her body with its terrible scars. What will she remember years from now as she sits at her morning table, sipping her ration of caffeine, watching wild birds bite over seed, the way she was gutted by strangers who scrubbed her abdomen of every trace of woman, her all too human grief. Still, she is alive, alive. Her scream celebrates the strength to make a fist, to lift her head, rise against the constant throb of absence. The clock of making booms in her chest, asks what kind of creature will she finally be?